The next item I sold is this vintage Chernoff double compact Holly Flesh Mirror Powder Puff Collectible. Very, very cool vintage item. I was hoping to get more out of this. Uh, some of these old compacts can do really, really well. So definitely look them up if you see them. I ended up taking a best offer of. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. amazing right all right let's get started all right in this video i'm going to talk to you about 28 bread and butter bolos that i sold on ebay items that i bought cheap and sold for a decent profit all of these items sold for 35 dollars or less i'm going to tell you where i got it what i paid for it and what it sold for all right let's get started with the first item here and this came from a garage sale and i had video footage of it and i accidentally deleted all the footage so unfortunately, you're not going to get to see me pick this up, but I sold this pretty quickly. It is a Colgate Octagon Soap Vintage All Laundry Bar Advertising Prop, and mine had damaged packaging. I thought it was going to take longer to sell because the condition of the item was just not that great. Um, I paid a dollar for this at that garage sale, and I sold this for $9.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Corgi fighter scrambler. Uh, it's a die cast model. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $24 and 50 cents plus shipping. This, uh, Corgi brand is something that I, I think I'm saying that right. Corgi C O R G I that I will pick up when I see some of them can be big money and, uh, some of them are bread and butter. The next item I sold is this vintage Chernoff double compact Holly flesh mirror powder puff collectible. Very, very cool vintage item. I was hoping to get more out of this. Uh, some of these old compacts can do really, really well. So definitely look them up if you see them. I ended up taking a best offer of $30 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for $1. The next item I sold are these flocked deer. They are vintage brown flocked deer. It's a buck and a doe. Figurine Christmas decor are the keywords I used in the title. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box and I took a best offer of $18 plus shipping on those. Anytime I find these flocked deer, I always pick them up. They do really well for me. Uh, bread and butter item, but they typically always sell. This is a vintage Mattel gorgeous creatures princess pig. It's a poseable animal doll Kind of looks like Miss Piggy, but she came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I'm like, what on earth is this? This is how she was marked. Um, she's from 19, I think 74 or 79. I can't read it there. 79. And yeah, I, let's see. I sold her for $14 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item is this vintage loving family dollhouse replacement window frame. I got a dollhouse and I parted it out. I have sold four of these and some of them I took a best offer on. I sold uh, this one for $8 and 40 cents plus shipping. The next item is this Avon Jenny the Draft from 1973. It's just a little necklace. I picked these up at a thrift store for 50 cents each. I bought a whole bunch of Avon um, little plastic jewelry pieces like this. And I am almost sold out. They have, they're amazing. They do great. Now they're major bread and butter, but they the sell-through rates have been really good for me. I uh, paid 50 cents for it, sold it for $9 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage dollhouse miniature mini graphics, eight inch round rug. It is for a dollhouse. 
and super cool item. I got this at an estate sale. I did pay $4 for it and I sold it for $28 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price Little People baby with yellow bib and rocking horse from the 1970s. I decided to put these two together just to kind of increase the value of the item. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. The next item came from my Goodwill Bins plush haul. If you guys missed it, definitely go check out that video. I went to the Goodwill Bins and there was so much plush one day. Um, I lost my footage for that as well, but I did do a haul video for you guys. So lots of education in that one. Things plush I didn't know about and doing pretty good with those. This is a 1998 Gans Heritage Collection Longhorn Bowl. And it sold for $17.50 plus shipping. And all of the plush was 99 cents, except for the smaller ones, which they let me do by weight. This is an Imaginex DC Comics Batman Batwing vehicle toy plane. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I sold it for $8.40 plus shipping. This next item came from my bulk jewelry buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And this is a snake ring with crystals. I think my title is kind of not great. If I would have had a better title, this may have sold quicker. It did take a little while to sell. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 2000 fashion Polly Pocket carry case purse playset with accessories. I got this out of a mystery toy box from Auctions For You. That is her YouTube channel. And I believe it was a $100 box. I do have an unboxing on this channel to show you everything I got. It was spectacular. And I sold this for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. So definitely check out Auctions For You if you are looking for inventory. I will link her down below. These napkins are vintage. Oh, it's not napkins. It's a tablecloth. I thought they were napkins. It's a vintage Halloween paper tablecloth, reed table cover. And it's 52 by 96. And it's got pumpkins, a jack-o'-lantern, and owls. Ended up taking a best offer of $10 on this. And I got it for a quarter at a thrift store. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this skeleton. It's a vintage die-cut die cardboard Halloween jointed skeleton by H.E. Lurs. Uh, let me show you the marking here. It's written right here. This is a good brand to look for. And I ended up selling this for $25 plus shipping and I got it at a thrift store. The next item is this Hatchimals replacement strawberry fruit toy. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for $11.90 plus shipping. Um, another thing, this is a Hatchimals, like the For Real Pets. Those are another one, uh, Baby Alive, different things like that. They lose the little things like this and they sell pretty good. This is a nuts about work peanut bobblehead figurine for child care. And I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold it for $10.80 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney store princess Merida plush doll. I got this at a garage sale for $1, sold her for $21.60 plus shipping and she sold pretty quick. This is a mixed lot of 20 necklaces. Most of them are wood and beads and they are vintage to now. Um, I got this out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry, and I sold this for $12 plus shipping. The next item are these Creative Memories page protectors. I picked these up at a garage sale and a huge lot of Creative Memories items, and you are going to see footage of that video um, if you have not already. Um, I'm not sure which video I'm going to end up posting first. But I got this approximately, I'm going to say 50 cents to a dollar. I'm still listing all of the items. It was a big lot of stuff. And I think I ended up paying $50 for all of it. And she wanted 75, but she wanted me to take it all. So she said, how about 50? And I was like, oh, and I did it. Um, I did price these items competitively and they have been moving quickly. So sold this one for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this one cent stamp on a vintage antique postcard, Victorian lady with a big hat. That was my description. I sold this for $12.60 plus shipping and it did take a long time to sell. If you wanna learn more about postcards to sell for big money, I do have a video on big money postcards. This is a bread and butter, but uh, definitely check out that video. 
This is the Connect Screaming Serpent roller coaster black chain replacement. I picked up a Screaming Serpent and I, I got it at the Goodwill and I parted it out. I have parted one of these out before. I forgot how boring it is to part out all the pieces, but you do make so much more money if it's an incomplete set. I ended up selling this for $11.20 plus shipping. This is the Fiskars Soft Grip Handheld Paper Punch. This sold super fast for my asking price of $8.40 plus shipping. Um, I did take the little butterflies and I showed what it looks like when you punch them out. And that was from that same big bundle of uh, creative memories items. This is a vintage Hearthstone mug. There is someone that follows my store and she has been buying up my Hearthstone mugs. This one is a polar bear skiing and fishing. Got this at a garage sale for two bucks and sold it for $21 plus shipping. Here is what this one looks like on the bottom. They The bottom does range a little bit, uh, different markings depending on the year. This one is definitely vintage and very, very cool. First time I've ever seen this one. The next item is this American Girl Doll Crafters Iron-On Kit Tote Bag Doll Accessory Craft. I got this at a garage sale for a buck and I sold this for $9.79 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Barlow Hummingbirds Earring Necklace Set Pierced Gold Tone. This came from that church sale where I picked up that Avon calendar. If you guys uh, did not see that video, definitely go check it out. I ended up selling these for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. And I want to say I had a buck in these, but I'm not 100% sure. The next item are these Loving Family Dollhouse Twin Boy Brothers Son Figure Toys Fisher Price. I sold these for $20.10 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I just love this one because he is a mess. Look at his eyeballs. He's a mess. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sell this. And this came out of that vintage toys mystery box from Auctions for You. I got so much good stuff in that box. Anyway, like I said, there's an unboxing on the channel. But I ended up selling this for $14 plus shipping. How amazing is that? So even if the item is damaged, don't necessarily toss it to the side and dismiss it because there are people out there looking. Somebody's probably going to take that and paint the little eyes and put a new face on it. And it's going to be exactly what they need for their collection or something that maybe they had as a child that is nostalgic to them and they just, they want it. They paid $14 plus shipping for that. So again, Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You, I do source from them on YouTube. They will be linked down below. If you are looking for inventory, definitely check them out. And thank you guys so much for being here. That was 28 bread and butter bolos. Let me know which item you would have walked past. Leave me a hat emoji down in the comments. And thanks for watching.